with Jason Shakir. He's one of our leaders in the first half. We come out in the second half. He's on some fish right away. Carl in the boat here to, to see what he had going on. But uh, Jason, what about this game? What is it about it that you know makes it a little bit different? I mean, we, you have the score tracker deal, so you can kind of always know what's happening. But does that, does that get into your head a little bit? Obviously, it does. Yeah, it's crazy how it gets in your head. But luckily, I got one trial run in the bass tournament that I fished earlier this year so I kind of knew what to expect coming in but it's still you know when you watch Dylan in the first half just piling them up you're like you know the air starts coming out of you but you never know what can happen so basically uh, just keep plugging along and hopefully he stumbles and, and uh, we get on a good pot of fish. So you fished the bass event now you've done the first walleye event which one, which one was winning so far? <laughs> well, I'm doing better in the walleye event than I did in the bass, even though I took a top 20 in that Gull Lake Open. And, uh, I do believe you were the one to win that. I did, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was, uh, it was cool to fish that thing. And uh, but this is my bread and butter walleye fishing. Yeah. So yeah, it's cool either way. No matter what, what color the fish is, it's awesome. All right, be sure to check out our score tracker live on classicsbass.com and let's, let's see how Jason finishes this out. The afternoon started pretty good on the first first pass. The first 20 minutes I had three. And then I just spun on them and, and came back through them the other direction, didn't get any. But now I'm heading back to the same direction I started in. So good news is they're biting. It's getting flatter and sunnier as the day goes on, but always fish to be caught. A few weeds in the water here, floating weeds, just pulling lead cores, so you got to kind of watch your line, make sure it doesn't get followed up. That's why I'm straight behind the bull right now, but we just got to figure out where they're at, just pile through as many as we can here this afternoon. Hopefully Dylan stops catching. One six.